Now, the, the key thing is, after birthdays, what we need is, we need cake. And we don't need cake from just any person. We need it from Jenny Morris, and that's why we are going to give you something absolutely incredible. And I love cake in a Viennese style. And, but more importantly, cake and coffee together. Mm -hmm. Jenny, this is the magic that we've been looking for all of our entire lives. And I'm excited about this recipe. I know that we are going to use a couple of capsules, which are yeah. it's called the Vienna Lunizio, which is beautiful. But uh, Vienna is known for its rich music. I mean, apparently you've, you've done some traveling there, oh, is that yes, correct? Yes. Vienna. I've I just had Viennas, um, but I've never <laughs> been there. Uh, but I'll try when I get a chance. Uh, but as you know, Vienna, it's magical. Everyone from Mozart to Schubert to Jan Strauss have worked there in this magnificent city. But Vienna is also known for its rich coffee culture. And in Vienna, it's all about enjoying tall coffees accompanied by delicious cakes like we're going to make for you and pastries with friends. So today, we're making a delectable coffee Viennese cake, which is something that you are going to want to try. So, Jenny, take mm -hmm. us through something magical, please. And Viennese, of course. Of course, Viennese. I, first of all, the most important thing is to cream. This cake is very, very light. Nice. And what I love about it is that when you make your coffee, because you've got a really fabulous uh, capsule. And I thank you. And you're going to make me 400 and how many moles? I'm going to make you 440 moles, which is uh, about four lungos. Lungos is 110 moles. Excellent. So I'm okay. going to do that for you. So you mix. mix. Oh, oh, must you want me to mix? Yes, I want you to okay, mix. Okay, well, that you're one. asking the DJ keep to mix. Going, keep going. Of course. Going, keep going. Well, okay. D-Day's mix. That's right. It's not go. a turntable, but a... I'm going to Jenny. give you one egg at a time. It's just very easy. I'm going to actually just talk you through this recipe. Okay. So you just mix your, your sugar and your butter together, which is very important. Then we just add the eggs one at a time. And then to really, really like lighten the story up, we're going to take our self-raising flour. Yes. And we're going to just lightly dust it, okay? And All then right. you're going to, come on, darling, mix, mix, mix. I'm mixing, but go, I, go, I, go. I want to be nice and delicate, you know, because I'm also trying to impress you a bit, Jenny, so. Darling, I'm always wanna... impressed by oh, you. Oh, <laughs> stop it. I like it. Yes. Now go, 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 okay. quick, quick, quick. If you want me to do like a proper. Yes. There we go. There we go. Like a proper mixer. A proper mixer. Yes, right. that's right. Well, you know what? Uh, this is not going to really go into the oven. I just want to... I know now you're not going to mix, you're going to fold. That's my... Oh, he knows how to fold. That's because oh, I watch... Sweetheart. That's because I watch Jenny Morris videos <laughs> in my free time. I know how to fold. I know how to mix. I and our cream. Oh, hello, this darling. Is, and that's you know right. how to charm. He's uh, such a charmer. I charmer. don't know what you're talking about. I'm just, you know, this no, is no, just... No, no, just fold. So eventually we'll add all of that gorgeous flour, but other, as one does on television. Uh, because yes. Because this cake, you have to dose it overnight. I have already baked one. Ooh. Just have a look at this deliciousness. Now, I would love oh, my... That's great. I, I really want to give this cake some attention because if you have a look, you see all these dark patches. I see that, yes. That's all our Nespresso. Oh. Look at that. And the thing is, the Nespresso we're using, this is not just any Nespresso. No. This is a uh, Vienna Lunizio. Absolutely. And it's uh, really balanced. I mean, it's silky, it's smooth. Oh, South it's American full. Arabica's just full. beautifully... Uh, I'm going to say juxtaposed against the bitterness and the, the lovely lightness. I mean, it's a coffee experience. It's like you are in Vienna oh. making a Viennese cake. That's what this does. Uh, can I give you your coffee? Can I yes, sort you please, out? So yes. at the moment, I just need to give you one more. Yes. I will sort this out for you right now because I think that you require something special. So. You made me feel like waltzing the way you kind, I am going of, you to. kind of did that uh, whole thing. That's it. You know, that's the sound of the morning for me. Oh, I love it. You know that sound in the morning? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my sound. That's, that's my jam. I love it. Great. How did I do on the mixing? You actually you did give me very, very, you very well. Much. Yes, I'm thanking you. I, and I'm I, saying you're a clever boy. I, I try my best. I try and follow you word for word, step by step. That's what I do. Uh, so the lungo, 110 moles, is mentioned 440 for this particular recipe. And I'm assuming there's going to be a bit of soaking. We which do. is always good when you want to infuse that flavour. The thing is with the soaking, you have to soak overnight. And unlike a mulva pudding or any kind of pudding, yep. you just take the coffee and we just slowly drench the cake with it. <sighs> and it gets to suck it up um, overnight. And then what you do, darling, with another cup of coffee, you get to really enjoy this. Now, are you allergic? I know you're nuts. So I'm, I'm nuts, so it doesn't nuts. matter. I'm not allergic to nuts. That's just Good. who I am, naturally. Because Mama wants to feed you. Okay, ya. please. I know you're a feeder. Oh, and I'm, I'm an feeder. eater. We are oh, the yes. perfect combination, aren't we? <laughs> we is, are so great. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now it's the moment I've been waiting for. You know, Just, is this, uh, oh. Do you see how succulent and moist you, that cake is? You didn't even need a knife. You yeah, needed yeah. A, a, a butter knife. Would butter knife would do it. Oh. And I can just smell this coffee. Look at that. 
and is that not good moisture aroma succulents and i'm going to give it a taste now because i think it's Help important yourself, thank doll. you thank you very much this is just so good i'm going to just take a tiny little piece of the this egg. is the moment i've been waiting for it's actually the moment when you mm. taste the cake you need people to watch you so you say mm. cakey oh my gosh cakey indeed is that not just so good oh what i'm tasting oh wow i'm tasting the sweetness a touch of that, that beautiful coffee. It's not too sweet. Vienna Lonizio. No, it's not too sweet at all. Mm -mm. There's a balance here. There's a creaminess, there's a nuttiness, and all of that works together in a flavor profile that I believe that you need to try at home. And to do that, you can get your hands on this mouth-watering recipe. Mm -hmm. You can visit expressoshow.com, or you can just follow Jenny Morris, <laughs> and, like I do, <laughs> and follow her step by step and enjoy some Viennese cake, especially using this Nespresso, which is Vienna Lonizio. Say it like that when you get yours. Oh, absolutely. And if mm. you don't try this cake, you are selling yourself short. Mm-hmm. It's good. This is